Welcome back everyone to Providence or Bust, the 111 subscribers special with me, Brainboy20. So once again we're with the Commando. It's such a shame that the last run ended, but you can see why you really need either a form of regen or lifesteal and tons of damage. Damage reduction does not matter nearly as much as just straight up damage. And Jesus Christ, this is a little loud. Hang on. Audio? Nope, it's... yeah. It's just really loud to me, and it's probably ungodly so for you all. But thankfully, we got some of our regen that we've been looking for. Unfortunately, just one vial of the stuff is not enough. So we're gonna have to go get more. I need more. There's the teleporter. One vial of regen on the first level is usually enough to take care of the boss. And mercifully, we're against the Colossus, who I think is the easiest boss they could possibly give you in this game. Then again, it's a toss-up between the uh, Wandering Vagrant. What I can hope for is to get his legendary item, the Colossus Neural, because I would very much like the damage reduction associated with that, even though damage reduction is not as useful as the regen it also gives. Or I can get the Ukulele, which is the damage up that I've been needing. Alright. Let's see how many we can kill off in a short amount of time. Give me. We get another ukulele. Okay, this is gonna be a fun run, I could already tell. And even with all this luck that I'm getting right now, it's probably gonna be a failure run. I don't know why, but I feel it in my gut. Let's just hope that I haven't jinxed it. At least on the bright side of my commentary isn't that great, you can at least enjoy the awesome soundtrack, who, by the name of the person, I can't remember, even though I've seen the credits about only once. The jellyfish that's following us will come to me eventually. I'm just going to go back and grab the items, just because I've got a lot of time. Bless me. <laughs> Items I could hope for now. Leeching seeds is almost always better than just straight out regen, and I don't know why I didn't just jump up there. If you're wondering why those jumps seem variable, it's because if you hold down the space bar while on them, it increases the height at which you jump from on those launch pads. Now sadly, I'm not going to be able to spend all this money unless I actively go out and search for it, and since I'm probably going to leave at the 4 minute mark, I don't feel like staying. War Banner is not the greatest, it's an early game item at best. Late game, sure, it has a more pronounced effect when you level up, but you level up so rarely. So let's see, what position am I put in? An interesting one, this guy is incredibly far away. If we find another item, I might just go and buy it. Now let's see, can I get another item here? I can. Is it worth it? It's a bundle of fireworks, which isn't that bad. Well, since I'm already over here, I might as well check and just play this shrine about three times. Head stompers, and a bitter root. Alright, I think that was worth it. Sure, the HP up isn't as good without infusion, but at least it's something. And I haven't wasted my time. And Head Stompers is actually a pretty terrible item, and I would never want it. I'd never wish it upon anyone, even my most hated enemy when they're playing this game. 
So we pop here in easy difficulty. However, because we've spawned here early enough, I don't think the prices go up that much. Then again, I'm not even sure prices are... I'm not even sure if prices are linked to difficulty. I'm fairly certain they aren't. Just because I sometimes get here on very easy difficulty and the prices are still 68 and 88. Yeah, no, prices are independent of difficulty. And we found the teleporter right away, so we're going to trigger it. And it's the Ancient Wisp. You're lost cause. I can't get up there this way. I have to go through the Ancient Wisp. Mercifully, I can dodge most of his shots. That took off a nice chunk of health, but I have to deal with this elite up here. And if, I, if you haven't already figured it out, Commando's combat roll nullifies all damage that is dealt to the Commando during the roll while you're in the air. If you're at the beginning of the roll and are still on the ground, the roll does nothing. Alright, enough of this. And that was the worst spot to level up in. In all honesty. I could have leveled up in any other spot. And it would have been infinitely better than what happened there. Anyway, let's play the shrine because we can deal a ton of damage to the Ancient Wisp. And we got the key, which is great. Because I can just run over here and open up these items. Oops, sorry, boxes. I'd like another box, thank you very much. Nope, I can only open up that one, but I get the 56 leaf clover, which is a terrible item, because it never works. For some reason. And that opened that up. That doesn't give me enough money, but it does reveal that there are a lot of items that are available. Eh, my mistake, I could have opened up both those item boxes. Oh well. This is fun. And I get a second level of War Banner. Thankfully the AI on certain bosses is completely retarded. And the situations like this will happen. Where I can now just sit here, or the AI can actually be smart and get fully up here. Sorry about that. We went Christmas shopping with my grandma today, and I needed to, and I was getting some money back because I had to loan her some money due to unforeseen, uh, freaking unforeseen. Wow, this is really hard to think about. No, unforeseen expenses that came on. Yes, that's what I was looking for. So the war banner actually spawned in a useful location for once. As such, I can just wipe out all these opponents that I now see. I'll play this roulette one more time, in the hopes of killing my opponents, but that doesn't seem like it'll happen. So now we're just going to try and gut them as fast as possible. Nope, I have to jump over. No, yeah, well, at least they're all normals and non-elites, so I should be able to just gut right through them. Wow, they are all damaged? Oh, head stompers! Head stompers did something, that's hilarious. You see, this is why war banner is useful, is because you can just cover the field in war banners and never die. Unfortunately, the war banner buff does not stack, and you're kind of inclined to remain where the war banner actually is. Stop going around me. Well, I could probably throw you down here then. Over here. Over here, chump. Okay, fine. Stop that. Trust me, this isn't irritating at all.
Well, because we have time, we're gonna go grab those two items really quick. I think I'm gonna take the sprouting er sprouting egg. Heal, rapidly heal outside of combat. It'll help me with kiting. And then out of these two items, I'm gonna take whatever this one is, and I got lucky and got the Tesla coil. As its name sake says, shock nearby enemies. I'm gonna go check up here just to see if I can get my hands on another shrine. As I think that's the only thing I can afford on the salary I still have. There's a health shrine there. Disappointing. Ah, please tell me I can find a container. Just a small container. I don't have the jump height to grab that box if I wanted to. Small container. Perfect. Grab it and run. The speed boost of the red whip, I should be able to go pick up. I should be able to go and pick up whatever's inside that crate. Hopefully it's something worthwhile. And it's not gonna be like yesterday we were on hard mode here. Okay, another bundle of fireworks. That'll definitely help in the next section. It might provide enough rockets for me to kill something. Knows the benefits of a combat roll. In action. Let's go. I'm not gonna grab the money over time just because the money over time at this point is now useless. If it's on the very first level, it's amazing because it allows you to purchase another item every couple of seconds. And I will gladly nearly instantly kill you. And the Tesla coil once again proves its worth. We're gonna activate the teleporter immediately. And we get the Colossus. So now we're just gonna have the kiting the Colossus run through again. And I don't know why I don't do this. Fire shield. Fire shield is ours. And we grab 56 leaf clover. I keep forgetting I have the key. I'm also going to start running because I'm going to die if I remain here. Maybe I'll get lucky and have the teleporter available? No. Of course not. Currently, we're Lightning Man. We have the Tesla Coil and two ukuleles, so we're going to be able to shock anything to death. And there's nothing that has shock immunity or anything ridiculous like that. And we're going to grab another Red Whip, so as long as we're not damaged, I should be able to get out of almost every single conflict I end up in. And we level up here, which is even better, because now I can just shoot through every single opponent that comes my way and hopefully outheal them. see my character. Sprouting egg triggers. I was technically in combat, and I'm only staying in here because there's regen available. I'll trigger both these effects to get the missiles just so I can kill off my opposition. Grab the attack missile one, or auto-guided missile, and then run away because this is painful. I should not be fighting there just because I can't kill them off. We'll trigger this, get tough times for the damage reduction, which is more useful now than it is later. And we sadly got the level up right there, as opposed to where the Colossus actually was. And I was facing the wrong way. Because of the twin green elites, I'm probably not going to be able to kill them. I will be able to kill the Colossus just by fighting here. But without leeching seeds, I can't really stand up to the sheer number of shots that will now be coming my way. But we did get one elite. We have two levels of freaking 56 leaf clover, and it's not going to give me anything. That's what disappoints me so severely about this game, if I'm not careful. It's not letting me use my evasion. I'm dead. Man, 
managed to get one of them. We're gonna sit here and let the sprouting egg trigger so I can actually live through this. As my health is extremely low. And I might be able to fight him mono a mono. But I wouldn't push my luck. Thankfully the Colossus is not a boss that heals like the Scavenger heals. So I should be able to recover from this. And there's a shrine over there which I'm going to go and trigger eventually. These are perfectly setting off their shots so I can't dodge them. Maybe I can just jump through them and shock them to death. That actually seems pretty reasonable at this point. I dodged that. Come on. Sprouting Egg should trigger just because I'm not taking any damage, and as long as I do con continue to not take damage, Sprouting Egg will continue to regenerate my health, and Colossus should go down, Colossus no, no. But we do get the next best item in this case, a Smart Shopper, we get more money per kill, which means I'll be able to go through all the shops and items, and because it's going to be very hard by the time I get to the next location, I think I'm going to just simply drop down and see what items I can get for myself. Get a second level of fire shield, which is perfect for dealing with all boss level enemies. There's a shrine right here, we're going to play it several times. Get the beating embryo, use, use items of a chance to double their effects. That is not useful in the slightest. Okay, so basically I'm going for a shrine. Because I will not be able to afford any items that appear. Yeah, no, this is going to be a lost cause. Unless... Why am I jumping down here if I know it's going to be a lost cause? Well, there's always hope that I can grab some items. And I also forget I have the key, so I'm going to go up through the left in order to get whatever is inside the box. With two levels of the Red Whip, I should be running at close to sonic speed outside of combat, so I should be able to explore most of the map in no time flat. I get a rusty knife. And as I'm not gaining any money over time, I can't grab whatever's in there unless there's another container up here. Which there isn't. Excuse me. Let's try that jump again, this time with a lot less failure. I wonder, what happens if this key gets the double effect? I would assume nothing, just because you can't double open a chest, but if it gives like two items, this suddenly becomes the best item in the game for me. It'd be an amazing find. This is where I teleported. I completely forgot. Well, time to super speed our way over to where those two chests were. Open them up and see what items we get, as they're hopefully going to be two rare items. And it's not going. It's not going to be close to. I think impossible difficulty. I think that was very hard. Then impossible. Then I see you. Then. I'm coming for you, then ha 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 ha. I think that's the progression. I could be wrong. Alright. How many can I get on the screen at once? Just two. Infusion and the, the old lopper. The old lopper's effect is that as long as you have the old Whopper, whenever your opponents are below 9% health, you will start auto-critting them. One of the best items for the Harvester. And Infusion, which we all know and love, and would like multiple levels of. But we can't all have what we want. In all, in all honesty, with the amount of time I took, I should have just waited, or I should have used the key earlier. 
just so I might have a chance to grab multiple items, but I'm not going to wait any longer. We're going to take our key and run to the Hive Cluster. So potentially health shrines are available, but I don't have any way of healing myself, aside from the sprouting egg. Two parents spawn. I miss my jumps multiple times, even though in that case it's not my fault. The jump key just wouldn't spawn, but it leads me straight to a health shrine, which gives me head stompers, which isn't that great. And I could be stupid. I could be very stupid and use the health shrine right now. But we're, I don't feel as if suicide is an option at this point in the run. However, it certainly feels like an option now. We get meat chunks. Oh gosh, I can die right now. If I'm not careful. Meat chunks will recover some of my HP, and I'll get some HP up from the killings of these two biological railguns of the perfect name that I cannot recall. Although, the game can just be a dick and spawn a thousand of them. Which, it seems like that's the modus operandi of the game right now. could be something over here. There is. It's a drone. Not worth it. I've got shrines to play. I'm also still looking for the teleporter, mind you. It's just the shrines are taking precedence. Well, it looks like we got our next kill. And we get another level of sprouting egg to heal even faster. We level up and get a healing buff. While inside the war banner, from I, I think even just from level one, you get a healing buff, which is why I'm trying to stay in here to clear all these monsters out. And we get permafrost, so enemies can be frozen on hit. And I fall down here again. I'm smart. I think I just fell down the exact same hole twice because my jump key refused to respond. It's just lovely. So while kiting, I'll be able to slowly kill them off using the Tesla coil. That's uh, insane, then impossible. Well, so we're able to trigger the teleporter now before there's any other issues, but I'm going to have to check first. Are there any health shrines in the immediate vicinity? Aside from the one I played. Okay, that's it. Just die. There is a health shrine. But we're not going to do it while we have the Lemurians here. Get a frost relic and landmines, which arguably are better than this, just because money is not going to be an issue anymore, he says. And I am wasting a lot of time. I can't risk having the scavengers spawn up here. Okay, Toxic Beast, that's fine. Oh, Jesus! Nope. They spawned two elites right next to me. And they were both electric elites, which just gutted me immediately, so we'll up their spitters. Well, it's much easier to say than biological railgun. <laughs> well, that was this episode. When we come back, we'll continue our run. Day two, Providence or bust. See you in about one second.